You know, it's often said that there are only two certainties, death and taxes. I'd add a third to the list, pressure. We worked with over 100 medal winning uh, Olympic athletes and teams. We can learn a lot when we study people who operate in high pressure environments. Pressure can help push us forward. It can move us to the next level of development. There is power in pressure. The key to resilience is not a constant state of harmony with the universe. Uncertainty is such a big cause of pressure that the longer we just delay the decision, the more pressure starts to uh, impact us. You know, we just keep driving heavier and heavier trucks over people and eventually they collapse and we go, well, I guess we found out how resilient that person was. Great leaders lean into negative emotion. They figure out how to use it instead of retreating or rescuing. The reason negative emotion can be an ally is it because under negative emotion is energy. It's not enough to just move. We've got to actually do it with some speed. It's my belief that pressure is actually an essential input into high performance. You don't get high performance without pressure. Time management is a great productivity strategy. It's good to get more done, but it doesn't really help with pressure. Just because the curtain is closed doesn't mean the play is not still going on. The images that we run in our head, even when they become subconscious, have tremendous power over our thoughts, our feelings, and our physiology. Your skill set makes you employable. What makes you irreplaceable is the ability to evolve, to change, to grow as the workforce evolves. You see, at the end of the day, it is the energy under pressure that allows us to rise to the challenges that we face and to emerge free from regret. It is incredibly clarifying. It gives us both the ability and the energy to move forward. And that is the power of pressure.